I, I was very, very uh, young. I was very uh, thin. I got made fun of and teased a lot in junior high school and beat up. And so by the time I hit high school, uh, very cliche, you start smoking cigarettes, you start going to parties and um, drinking like a lot of alcohol. Marijuana is like very easy and accessible. I, I settled in the land of acid and, and um, prescription drugs quite a bit. And then it moved on to cocaine. It starts out just real slow. You know, you're doing it for particular reasons. You're doing it to fit in. Um, you're doing it for problems that are going on in your life that you are too young to even face. You think you're okay that you don't have a dad or have friends or, you know, but, and you can portray and you can even feel it when you wake up, but subconsciously you're sad. I graduated high school um, and I actually joined the military. And so the military straightened me out uh, for, you know, four years that I was in got out of the military, I, I had my honorable discharge, um, and I went right back to it. I had a job working with the A-plus program, uh, with the after-school program for kids, and I was a group leader, and I was working with fifth graders, um, and I was completely messed up. I think the day I realized that I had a problem, I cried because I was I was high and I was stoned and I was trying to be a mentor to the kids. I, I met a very nice young lady uh, about two years ago um, and she was a Christian. I never knew uh, God. I wasn't born uh, in any sort of church family or um, with a family that uh, was Christ-centered. I used to make fun of the kids that did know. Started dating um, and as I wanted to come to know who she was and learn more about her, um, I was learning more and more about her faith um, and about God through her. Um, and I would play devil's advocate and I would challenge her with questions and then she would give me the answers. Um, so part of me was challenging her just like I challenged the kids in high school when I made fun of them. And, but a huge part of me was really just wanting to know. And as I learned more, the less I wanted to use any substances. And the more I learned about God, the less I needed them. Um, and the more convicted I felt about, about using them. It wasn't very long after I met her that I, that I didn't feel the need, uh, maybe a few months, maybe two or three months after I met her, of just prodding for questions and information about God that I realized I don't really have the urge or want this anymore. I was saved last year and since since that day that I, I decided to let the Lord into my life and, and open up my heart to Him, there's a joy that can't be taken away and it doesn't matter uh, how great I'm doing or, or how much in the pits I am. Uh, and it doesn't matter if I have something to make me feel better or if I don't. I, I always have uh, the Lord with me and that that just never ever gets taken away so it's a it's a joy that just can't be altered that's amazing <laughs>